Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost, and today we are going to be taking a look at the tier, legendary tier. Um, I almost said tier 8 <laughs> or tier 7. I'm not used to saying legendary tier because I don't do reviews of legendary tiers so much. But yeah, today I have to do a review of this ship because it's very significant because I got it out of a damn crate. It's a super prize. It's fucking rare as hell. It's the Yoshino, legendary tier Japanese heavy cruiser. Yeah. So, this cruiser was available uh, a few months ago during an event. And the only way to get it was through an event, through currencies. So it's a very rare ship. Um, the only way to get it is through crates now. And that's exactly how I freaking got it. All right. Uh, shout out to my friend Simpin. He sent me t uh, he sent me like twenty bucks uh, without even me asking him. He just randomly sent me twenty dollars. He said, "Go get yourself this bundle here in the store <laughs> for twenty dollars." I was like, "All right, bet, dude, bet." And I did exactly that. And the ships I got was the Yoshino. I got the Masashi. Um, I got the uh, the Cossack thirty eight along with the um, uh, the Molotov. So, yeah, four ships out of ten crates. That's a 40% drop rate there. I'll take it. So, yeah, today we're going to do a little bit of review, and then we're going to do some gameplay of this ship as well. I've got an absolute banger to show you guys. I was initially going to plan to do a double feature today. However, however, I can't do that today. I have a really solid game recorded that I got recorded uh, not too long ago that I need to show you guys, okay? It is utterly insane. So please stick around for that, okay? At least if you're gonna skip apart, skip ahead, skip to the gameplay, uh, it, it's gonna be insane, okay? Now, let's start by looking at the upgrades and loadout here. We've got aiming systems mod one. We got propulsion mod two. We have concealment systems mod one along with main battery mod three. And we've got the torpedo upgrade as well. Okay. For the loadout, we've got high explosive, armor piercing, we got torpedoes, standard damage control parties, two sonars, three catapult fighters, and three heals. We got the Legends Four Year Veteran Flag along with the standard type camouflage that I put on here. Keep in mind the Yoshino actually doesn't come with a camo, so you have to actually put one on. Luckily, there is a camouflage that you can uh, use and convert with paint and uh, whatnot. So there you go. Now for the specs. We've got 61,800 hit points and we've got 19% torpedo damage reduction. For the artillery, we've got nine 310 millimeter 50 caliber type zero guns. Shoot out to 18.7 kilometers on my build with a 15 second reload. One thing too to mention is the turret rotation is really bad. 42 seconds. Okay, so... Yeah, you guys are going to see a little bit of that. Most likely in the gameplay, you're going to notice how shit the turret rotation is. Now for the HE shell maximum damage, it's uh, 5,400 with a 30% chance of setting fires. Um, it's kind of low, not going to lie. For a cruiser with these big of guns, you'd think you'd have like a 35 to 40% chance of setting fires, but that would just be, I guess, too overpowered. Um, one thing, too, though, is even with this lower end fire chance, this cruiser is still really, really good, okay? Like, for example, I think the Alaska uh, has a, yeah, 30% fire chance as well. So actually, it's pretty average. Uh, Alaska has a 4,300 maximum damage on the HE. Yoshino has a 5,400 maximum damage on the HE. Uh, so overall, the HE is better uh, by far. And now the AP shell maximum damage is 8,650. Take a look at the Alaska. The AP shell maximum damage is 9,700. So you're getting a lot more out of the AP on the Alaska than you are on the uh, Yoshino. However, on the Yoshino, you're getting more out of, out of the HE than the HE on the Alaska. Uh, the reason why, by the way, I'm comparing the Yoshino to the Alaska is because literally the Japanese Empire made the Azuma class uh, cruisers or cruisers out because they wanted to, had to have a cruiser that could counter the Alaskas. So literally the Japanese uh, designed these ships to counter the Alaska class heavy cruisers. So that's why there are, there are some similarities uh, from the Azumas to the, uh, to the Alaskas. They do have uh, slightly bigger guns than the Alaska. Um, however, the armor 
and the overall armament does not even come close to the Alaska's, in my opinion, uh, in terms of anti-aircraft. Uh, the AA is not as good as the, obviously, the Americans, because the Americans love their anti-aircraft. However, actually, that might not be the case. Let's see here. Uh, 100, 200, eh, that's about 400 average damage per second on the AA. And, uh, 100, yeah, about the same, really. Maybe a little better, actually. It's what it's saying here. According to the thing, it says that the AA on the Yoshino is actually better, so I don't know. Which is pretty odd, because it's Japanese. You would think it, uh, Americans would be better in terms of AA, but who knows. Anyway, moving on to the secondary armament, you do have a bunch of 100mm Akazuki guns. So if we take a look, you do have a bunch of these 100mm Akazuki guns. They are destroyer caliber secondaries, so that's cool. Uh, three second reload with a 5.2 kilometer firing range. Now for the torpedoes. This is where things get really interesting. So unlike the Azuma down at tier 7, uh, the Ashino actually gets some torpedoes. And they are absolutely redonkulous torpedoes, okay? You've got uh, 8 torpedoes on each side uh, with a 167 second reload. But the thing that makes these torpedoes so spicy is the range and the damage. Look at that range. 20 kilometer range. 20. Two zero kilometer range on these torpedoes. That is incredible. Okay. I don't think there's a ship in the game that has torpedoes that go out that far. Uh, that far. Now, obviously, the one downside with these torpedoes is, yeah, obviously, you got really long range and you got really high damage, almost 21,000. But the main downside here is the detectability of these torpedoes. These torpedoes are going to get spotted out to two and a half kilometers. So, yeah, the good luck, uh, good luck actually hitting things with these torpedoes. However, which is, it's funny that I say that because although the torpedo detectability is utter ass, uh, you still will be hitting torpedoes. I still hit people with torpedoes. Actually, the last game I played in the Yoshino, I actually caught a destroyer with one of these torpedoes. Believe it or not, it's freaking hilarious. I know. Hold on, I'll show you guys the clip. Uh, it's, it's pretty funny. You don't believe me, but I was just playing the game, uh, and I sent out some torpedoes, and over there in Bravo, and, well, wait for it. <laughs> yeah. I actually hit somebody <laughs> with one of those torpedoes. So 2.5 kilometer detection range, and I actually hit a destroyer with them. So don't take it out of, you know, the books here. You can still hit torpedoes with this thing, okay? People still somehow find a way to take random torpedoes. We call that Sempitis here. Now for the maneuverability. Uh, 34 knot maximum speed, which is really good for a cruiser of this size. The only downside here is the turning circle radius is utter g -g 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 garbage. Oh, the turning circle radius is awful. It's trash. It's utter fucking. It's just. It's just garbage. Uh, 920 meter turning circle radius. Most battleships at this tier have that turning circle radius. So that is tragic. Absolutely tragic. With a capital fucking T. Okay. Obviously, the rudder shift, too, is also pretty tragic, okay? Let's not even look at that. The speed is good, but the uh, the, the agility here, not too good at all, okay? Now for the de uh, for the detectability. 11.2 by C, which is really good for a cruiser of this size. So having concealment mod on is really handy. Detectability range by air, 7.1, 2 guaranteed with a 10.1 while firing in smoke. Overall, uh, concealment pretty solid for this cruiser, especially because of the size of it. Now let's take a look at the armor. So the armor on this thing, you do have 25 millimeters of bow and stern armor, okay? So that's not gonna stop a whole lot at this tier. I thought that the Yoshino had more armor, but it doesn't. Now if you take a look at the Alaska, for example, the Alaska gets a lot more armor. The Alaska gets 32 millimeters of bow and stern armor, which is sufficient enough to ricochet armor piercing shells up to 16 inches okay so that is one major downside with the yoshino is everything at the tier can overmatch you 
except 8 inch guns and obviously other 305 to 310 millimeter guns but anything with six, with anything with 15 inch guns or bigger so basically every single battleship at the tier will be able to overmatch you okay so that is something to keep an eye out however if you take a uh, take away the bow armor you do have some pretty good side plating some good belt armor and overall solid uh solid just belt okay you do have 30 millimeters there so if you can manage to bait people to shoot at your bow and then swing out and hope to Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, that those shells hit your belt, uh, yeah, that's the only shot you got. So, taking away that, you do have a lot of superstructure. Uh, I mean, not a lot, but you do have some in the middle there, so that's something to worry about. Taking away all that, and then taking a look at the Citadel, the Citadel is big. It is chunky. I've been citadel in this cruiser. You will get citadel in it if you get caught. Okay, every battleship that catches you will smack you around. So be very careful. The Citadel is big. It is freaking big, big time. Okay. <clears throat> superior AP pen, superior HE damage, and pyromania are the uh, traits that Wargaming is giving this ship here. I'd say all those are pretty true. The AP is actually surprisingly good despite the damage being not so good. Yoshino, a fast-moving ship armed with 310mm artillery for her main battery, intended to counter enemy cruisers of the Project B-65. This version of the design also featured torpedo armament. Year of design was 1940. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe the Azuma actually existed. I could be wrong. I know they actually designed it, but I don't know if they actually laid it down or not. Did they actually build this ship? No, they didn't. So they they did design it, but they never actually built it because, well, they got nuked into the fucking dirt before they could even think about building their ship. So, sucks to suck, Japanese. Sucks to suck. <laughs> but now, moving on to the commander build. We're running ARP Harugoro. Let's try that again. A Pregio. Haguro. A Pregio Haguro. We're just gonna call her Anime Lady, okay? Jesus Christ. Oh, these anime commanders make me sick. Uh, already more than I am. So for the inspirations, we are running Nikolai Kuznetsov, and we're running Francesco Membelli. For the base trait, we've got Deck is on Fire. We've got Beyond Range, Igniter, Hellfire, Fixated and refill station. She's a legendary 2 rank 15 captain. Now some of you might be wondering why are you not running Isodako Yamamoto? Well, the reason being is because Haguro provides more shit for your HE shells. She increases your HE shells by 1% She increases your main battery range by 3% She increases your AP uh, your armor uh, penetration of HE shells for your cruiser by 5% and she increases the damage of your HE shells by 6%. So Haguro here gives a lot more HE benefits. And I find that the Yoshino is a dirty, 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 very dirty, uh, very dirty uh, HE spamming cruiser. Okay, this thing is absolutely disgusting. So nonetheless, I'm going to bring you guys over to the gameplay portion of today's video. It is an absolute, it's an absolute slugfest of a game. So I hope you all do enjoy it. Alrighty, so... Here we are in the Yoshino. Um, notice that there's no audio in this recording here. For some reason, my OBS decided to have a hiccup and not record any audio in this game, which is weird because uh, the first few seconds of the video have audio. So I don't know why, but for some reason, OBS stopped transmitting audio uh, like five, six seconds into the into the replay, so I do apologize for not having audio. You can't have a Doctor Ghost Games uh, video or live stream without technical difficulties, but we we uh, we have some nice background music to make up for it. I hope you all do enjoy it. A little bit of piano and some nice jazz themed sort of music in the background, but yeah. Uh, nothing like jazz to uh, smooth out the HE spam and utter pyromaniac bullcrap that we're about to do in this game. Now, the beginning of this game is going to be a bit slow. We're not going to do a whole lot in terms of damage, but into the middle and end of the game, oh 
my god, it's gonna be incredible what happens, okay? I would not leave you guys hanging. There's no audio, so to make up for it, I've got an absolute banger of a game here. Absolute banger. Th keep in mind, this is only my third match in the Yoshino. I'm absolutely in love with this thing so far. And I don't even play Legendary Tier that much. I'm always saying I hate Legendary Tier, which I do. I think it's trash because of the economy in Legendary Tier. But... Uh, nonetheless, I digress. Uh, you can still have some fun occasionally at Legendary Tier. Um, but yeah, so we're up to 17,000 damage. We've got a Worcester out here, and we are just keeping the HE spam going. And as you guys can see, the damage we are getting on him is just disgusting. It's disgusting on so many levels. It's not even okay. <laughs> I mean, look at that. 30,000 damage, 3 fire set. Yep. Can you guys see where this game is going to be going? The Yoshino is an absolute pyromaniac. This thing has decent accuracy. It's got great guns. This thing's absolutely disgusting. Now, speaking of disgusting, we've got a Heisen out here. He citadeled me earlier for 13,000 damage, um, which is unfortunate, but shit happens. So nothing really you can do about it. Um, maybe the one thing I could have done, obviously, was not have been broadside, but, you know, that's my mistake. My bad. I'm not perfect, guys. Keep that in mind. Obviously, I'm not perfect because I've got a freaking video here that doesn't even have audio. I don't even have audio. How could I make this rookie mistake as a content creator and not have game audio for you guys? Jesus. <laughs> I'm so bad. No, I, I try my best, guys. I can't predict OBS to be stupid, okay? OBS, in case you guys are not aware, is the, uh, the software that is used for live streaming, recording, and whatnot for most, if not all, streamers. Most streamers use OBS to record. Most streamers use OBS and or OBS stream labs to record and do live streams, okay? So OBS is a very vital part of the process for content creators, and when it decides to fail, well, unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do about it. I was recording this game, and I'd had no idea that the audio cut out. No idea. I, it's just OBS things, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta love it. But yeah, we've got Heisen running away. The Heisen, that Heisen is going to come back later and bite us in the ass. You guys will see, but I'm not going to spoil anything. I have a tendency to do that, but I want to keep the surprises and the suspense for later. Now we're up to 39,000 damage. We've uh, not talked about some of the consumables here. Uh, we, we went over them very briefly in the uh, review section, but we haven't actually talked about them in depth. Uh, the Sonar. The sonar is like American sonar in terms of uh, capabilities. 4.4 uh, kilometer detection ships, so around 3 kilometer detection of torpedoes. So the sonar is painfully average. Sonar is not great. So notice that I am trying to save those. I don't like to waste them at the beginning of the game. Because you never know, I may need them later for like people coming around an island and whatnot. Also, the Yoshino comes with two catapult fighters. Actually, it comes with more than that. I'm, I just used one or two so far. But yeah, uh, Yoshino comes with some catapult fighters. And those catapult fighters do come in handy. Now, also, the Yoshino also comes with two heals. Or three heals, actually, but I already used one because I got absolutely smacked earlier. So you do have some pretty good consumables. The heals aren't the greatest in the world, but still you got them. Which, heals are going to come in a lot, you know, a lot handy. Especially in games like this where you get shot by a bunch of people So yeah, obviously having heals is really nice. Okay um, Now I think we've covered mostly what the Yoshino is good about the guns are great I think that's the main thing here. Uh, the speed is also really good as well. You can get around the map pretty quick It's a big-ass cruiser, but you have the speed of a, of a light cruiser if not a destroyer in some aspects uh, it would not surprise me if you could build this thing for speed and get up past 40 knots. This ship's really quick, so that's really nice. I think it's really cool. Now, we are relocating to the other side of the map since we have really nothing le left else to do over at Bravo. Uh, we've got 52, uh, 52,000 damage. Now, notice that we are utilizing these 20-kilometer torpedoes. We're sending some out towards that Heisen. Hopefully, some of them hit their mark, but, you, you know, shit happens. We don't always hit torpedoes. Not every game you're going to hit a torpedo or two, right? But, hey, it's worth it just to send them out there and see what happens, right? Now, notice the team here. The team is, um, well, the team is doing questionable things here. 
mainly look at the look at the mini map. So we've got a cruiser. Uh, or is that a battleship? I think that's a battleship in the center of the map. Don't know what he's doing. And then we got a bunch of people just sitting around kiting, which is to be expected at legendary tier these days. The games are uh, pretty crazy. Now we just <clears throat> absolutely smacked that battleship there for I don't know how much damage, 10 plus K with a fire as well, a double fire I think it was. Yeah, he's he's not having fun. That, yeah, that uh, Burgoyne is not having fun. Or no, it is actually a cruiser in the center of the map. There's a cruiser in the center of the map. Jesus Christ. That's not good. So yeah, uh, just keep an eye on the team. Because, well, the team is going to throw. And I think that's... Um, I think you guys could have guessed that by now if, you know, it's L tier. At the end of the day, teams usually find a way to throw. So, yeah, just keep an eye on the uh, blues here. They're going to start throwing their ships away. Notice the points as well. We only have one cap. The enemy has two caps. We need to start capping in order to win this game. Unfortunately, the lack of aggressiveness on our team is ultimately what's going to come around and bite us in the butt here. You know, if we don't do something quick. Now we're up to 81,000 damage. Like I said earlier... Uh, the beginning of this game, not going to be uh, the most riveting gameplay here. But once we start getting into the uh, middle to end of the game here, stuff is really going to start speeding up in terms of damage and craziness, okay? So just wait. Be patient. We're 20 minutes into the video. I know. You guys want to see some action. But you guys got to keep in mind, this is a cruiser at the end of the day. It takes a while to start really snowballing and uh, getting the maximum effect of your cruiser, if you know what I mean. So, just wait, because things are going to start speeding up here pretty quick. Now we're about to lose a battleship. Yeah. Yay. Now the enemy team all of a sudden went from being like 100 points ahead to like 300 points ahead. Yep. Can you guys see where this game's going? The team is th 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 throwing. Who saw that coming? Everybody did. Everybody did. You know what's bad too is this is legendary tier. This is the highest tier in the game and yet people still do not seem to understand how to play, how to get caps, how to do things, right? Uh, every ship has a role in this game. Yoshino right here, long range, HE spamming, selfish ship, okay? So at least I'm actually, you know, playing this ship how it's supposed to be played. This thing's a long range, kiting, piece of shit cruiser that everybody hates to deal with. We just lost another ship, by the way. Our cruiser. Our cruiser finally died. Tragic, I know. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Uh, but no. Uh, I don't know why our battleships have been so passive this game. Uh, maybe it's because the team has had, uh, the enemy team has had better positioning? I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. But you guys gotta remember, Yoshino has bad armor for a cruiser of this size. There's no way I'm gonna put myself in there uh, to get shot at by the whole enemy team. Uh, this cruiser is meant to be used at range, it's meant to be kiting, it's meant to be using island cover. The ship is not supposed to be the one that goes into caps and gets shot at by the whole enemy team. That's not my job, that's my destroyer's job, that's my battleship's job. And unfortunately, and of course, in the game where I actually want DDs, there's no DDs. DDs are very nice to have because not only can they cap stealthfully, but they can also spot and all this stuff. So it does really suck. Now we're about to get our first kill of the game, and an arsonist medal. This is where things are starting to speed up a bit. We're up to 112,000 damage. And we got a first kill. And we've got an arsonist medal. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Uh, now we're switching our attention over to the other ships here on our starboard side. This Prince Ruprecht and this enemy Yoshino. These guys are not going to have fun. I have a perfect, perfect crossfire here. They're focused on my team while I'm here absolutely raining hellfire down on them. This is the dream situation to be in as the Yoshino. As you guys can see, the team, once again, we just lost another ship. Our team is throwing. Absolutely throwing this game. They're all dying left, right, and center. Which is not cool, man. Not cool. But shit happens. Now, the team actually does get a kill. They kill that Prince Ruprecht. Awesome. Fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. Now, the first time we load AP for the whole entire game is this broadside Yoshino. And, pow, yeah, night night sunshine, have a great one. <laughs> that's our second kill of the game, that's two citadels, 152,000 damage, but we're not done yet. We still have a lot more things to do here, there's still four ships left, we, we only got two ships left, and uh, well, 
we're about to have our little lone 1v1 against this Alaska. We load HE, hit him in the superstructure, get a couple penetrations along with a fire. The Alaska is letting that fire burn, so there you go. Now we just got a Witherer medal. All the fire medals in the world. We got an arsonist off that Republic. Or was it a Burgoyne? I think it was a Burgoyne. Yeah, we got a... Uh, we got an arsonist off that Burgoyne. We just got a uh, we just got a Witherer, and now we just got a Confederate medal, and we just got a high caliber medal. <laughs> we are starting to look like the Russian general from the death of Stalin. <laughs> it's like it's a meme at this point. <laughs> now look at our damage. Just keep an eye on the damage, ladies and gentlemen. The damage is starting to pile up. <laughs> look at it come in like money. Just money. It's like I'm winning slots right now. But in a battle, all the payouts are coming in in terms of damage here. And uh, yeah, we're having a brawl with the Alaska, baby. We're switching over to the armor piercing since the Alaska is over angling. We aim under his guns towards his bow side plating and we get a decent result for penetrations. And with that, we are up to 205,000 damage. And look at the team. We don't have any more teammates. You gotta love it. <laughs> we are out of teammates, so it's just me versus the world. We're at 214,000 damage. We've got two kills, a high caliber, confederate, witherer, and an arsonist. And yet we are still losing the game. The enemy team has 800 points, almost, 600, or almost 900 points. We are still only in the 300 point category. We roll around to get our torpedoes off on that Alaska and down he goes. That's our third kill of the game with our second arsonist. <laughs> you gotta love it. And now, the Heisen that I told you guys about earlier, I told you he's going to come back and bite us in the butt. He is back. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, uh, well, it looks like our gun's blacked. So we only have two guns. We are now effectively just a Yoshino with two guns. You gotta love it. We're up to 226,000 damage. Fortunately, though, just because we've got two guns doesn't mean that we're entirely useless. So we're going to be able to still... Get some shots downrange on this Heisen, and hopefully pray to Jesus, R in Jesus, to get a fire, or plus some, because that's the only thing that is going to help us kill this Heisen. This Heisen is very well angled, so we're not going to get a whole lot of results with the AP. We need to get fires. Now, just like that, we got a fire, and with that shot, we are up to 230,000 damage, but we're not done yet. We still have some more damage to get off this Heisen. There's also another cruiser shooting us off the port side from the Bravo Cap. And, uh, yeah, he's hitting us for 2 to 5k a salvo. Also, we're taking sh uh, high explosive rounds from the Heisen, which is not fun. We just got a fire on that Heisen, but as you guys can see, look at our, look at our HP. We're almost dead. But... Hopefully we're going to be able to take this guy down with us, and, and, yes we do. And with that, that concludes our game in the Yoshino. What a match. We lost that game. We lost that game. But we were top of the leaderboard on our team with 2.3k base. We had more base XP than the top player on the enemy team. What the hell? 244,000 damage, Confederate, two arsonists, Witherer, high caliber. What a tragic game. What a tragic game. As you guys can see, I'm taking screenshots and everything. I'm like, yep, this is going to get shared around. Yep, third game in the Yoshino, my best game in the Yoshino so far. This ship has potential. She is absolutely disgusting. So, with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy today's video. Um, one thing I want to point out too is I'm actually going to show you guys. So future Dr. Ghost here. Uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys something. So I've played so far, I've played four battles in the Yoshino, right? I've played four battles in the Yoshino in standard and I have no wins. I have lost every single one of my games in the Yoshino. That is crazy, isn't it? I haven't won a single game yet. So my first game I played in the Yoshino, I didn't too, I didn't do too good. I went in, charged, I died. The second game in the Yoshino, I did around 180,000 damage. Or sorry, 140,000 or was it 180? I think it was around 180. I could be wrong. And then my third game, the one you guys just saw, we did, uh, we did around 
240,000 damage. Actually, we can see it in the bottom right. Max damage, 244,556. That's my best game ever in the Yoshino. And the third game I played, or the fourth game, sorry, fourth and final game I played, uh, I can't unfortunately show you guys, but it was a pretty damn good game, 100 plus K, but we lost it. Yeah, there seems to be a trend with this ship. It's really good, but for some reason, I can't seem to win in it, which is weird, isn't it? So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that. Pretty funny that we're actually, we've lost every game we've played in this ship. Weird. But if you guys look at my statistics here, we've got a 44% uh, at main gun accuracy. We've got 10 warships destroyed in just four games. So, yeah, 2.5 KD in four matches. It's not like we're not putting in the effort. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it just goes to show the current state of Legendary Tier. The people in it. Lots of potatoes rolling around, uh, rolling around, but anyway, I, nonetheless, this ship's really fun. I like it. It's got really good guns. It's got really good potential. I'm super stoked that I pulled her from a crate. Um, if you guys are not aware, there is a 10% chance of pulling her from a level five crate, and that's exactly what I did. So yeah, awesome. Nonetheless, everybody, that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to go down there and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well. Become a uh, member of the channel if you'd like to as well. Uh, to click the join button for a buck a month. It does help out the channel. Takes your support to the next level. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, everybody, happy holidays. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.